Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now I am going to explain a complete demo of my project. Title is Performance Modeling and Analysis of Network Firewall. In this project, I am going to identify the network flow or normal flow attack and DAS attack in network. And also I am going to find out the network firewall performance. In existing system, they can find only the private network attacks and also they can only validate the firewall rules using some mathematical expressions. Now, in, our, in my proposed system, I am going to find out the entire network firewall attack and also I am going to validate and verify the firewall rule using the steady state probability algorithms using analytical model. This is flow of my project. First of all, I am going to capture the all the packets from internal server. For capturing packet, I am using a jpcap tool. Using jpcap tool, I am going to capture the packet from internal server. After capturing the packet, I will capture the packet in RSDMA server. And then I am going to apply the single or multiple flow of packets in firewall rule. If any rules that matches the packet means, I am going to next the process of validate and verify the packet or else we need to discard that packet. This is a complete demo of my project. Now I am going to execute my project. At first I am going to run a home page. In this page, we have three options will be there. One is a login, another one is a registration, another one is a transmission. If you are in a new user, means you need to click a registration. In a registration page, the user I system name will be displayed automatically. You need to click on system IP. I will enter an IP like this and then you need to click a MAC address and then they enter a OS name and then enter a password. After entering the password, you need to click a register and then your username is and password will be displayed. <laughs> After registration successfully, you need to click a login. In login frame, you can enter the system name. Then IP address. And then password. After entering these all three fields, you need to click submit. If you are an authenticated user, means you are able to access a network captured packet, or else you didn't. You didn't. After registration successfully, we need to capture a network packet. For capturing the network packet, we need to click a network monitor. It is used to capture the network packet. For capturing packet, we need to click on some other options. Using a view menu, choose a data link layer, packet information, capture time. So likewise the capture length. And then the network layer, IPv4, the source IP, where is the network IPv4 and set the destination IP. And select the transport layer, choose a UDP and select the source port, likewise its destination port and packet length. After selecting these all the fields, we need to capture the packets. By capturing, go for capture menu and click start. 
and then select a capture device after selecting the devices click ok to capture packet it will take uh, some time to capture the network packet After capturing a packet, click stop packet. These are all the packet captured from network. And then go to import the captured packet for identifying the attacks. In this frame, for importing the capture packet, we need to click on option import. After clicking the import, we need to click on capture packet. This is used for importing the capture packet. And also it will take us some time to importing the capture packet. These are all the captured packets. After successfully imported the captured packet, we need to generate a rule. For generating a rule, we need to click a rule generation. These are mining techniques. Click rule. These are the rules are generated by data mining techniques. And then click forward to verify these rules you can apply the rule with a single flow using steady state probability algorithm at first click a size compressions it can be extract the packet size should be above 50 and then the source IP then destination IP then click next step this is a frame for applying the rule with multiple flow using steady state probability algorithm likewise first click the size compressions and then the source IP and then destination IP and then click next step This is a frame for identifying the attack. At first, we are going to identify the normal flow attack. These are all the packets are affected by normal flow attack, and then we are going to identify the DAS attacks. And these are the packets are affected by task attacks and then we are going to find out the performances of single flow and multiple flow and this is the performances graph between the single flow and multiple flow
after identifying the single flow and multiple flow performance we go for home page In this frame, you need to click the transmission button. This is the frame can be used to find out the packet loss and the packet delay attack. For finding these attacks, we first select a file. For selecting the file, you need to click a file choose. Here, you need to select a very large text file. I am selecting the file. The selected file selected. After the file selection, we need to apply a rule. We have selected 34 MB file. Now the file is ready to send. Now before sending the file to destination, we need to split the file into the packet because in our network the data can be transmitted over the packet so here we can split the data into the three packets now the file can be splitted and then we need to send to destination Now the splitted packet can be sent to destination. And then receive if you rec want to receive the file, go and run a trans file. the trans file at first we are going to click a receive for receiving the packet send it over the sender <laughs> now the splitted packets can be received now we are going to find out the packet delay and packet loss attack. For finding the packet delay attack, you need to click a packet delay. Now the packet one will be delay. <laughs> and then you need to identify the packet loss. For identifying these packet loss information, to click a packet loss. Now packet 2 will be loss. And then click merge. In this frame we can identify the sended information and receive the data. This is the contents we send. Now this little voice can be merged. This is the received data we get. There will be MAC code for sender data. There will be a MAC code for received data. If the both MAC codes will be a same means there is no data will be a loss. If it is being modified, there is some data will be lost in between during transaction. 
so we can easily identifying there is some packet loss can be occur during our transaction thank you thank you for watching this video